Hey, yo, what's up guys, Zay here. So today I wanted to talk about money. I know a lot of people are afraid to talk about money, but in this Vlogmas Christmas, really wanted to talk about money precisely because nobody likes to talk about it or nobody talks about it, but it is something very important in my opinion. So a lot of people look at the money situation in the sense of being materialistic. I don't like to think about it that way. From my perspective, I really think that money is necessary for the essentials. Currently, I have a very decent job. I really, I'm, I'm super thankful that I have a job first and foremost. Right now, currently the country or the world in general actually isn't doing so well, economically speaking, and I still have a job. I have not gotten fired. So I'm very thankful for that. And again, sometimes I really don't think about it, but that brings monetary security to my family. It brings the insurance that both my wife and my daughter need, you know, especially since my daughter, she is barely nine weeks old. So right now we're going through her shots. We're going through to the doctor for, you know, visits to make sure that she's doing fine, all these things. So having that monetary security is very important. And something that I've grown to talk about a little bit more in the sense of what my bank account has and what my wife's bank account has. We both know how much money we have. So my wife's staying home and she's taking care of my daughter. And this is something that we definitely planned out. I said, you know, I'll be making the amount of money that's needed to go ahead and keep us afloat. I paid off my car in full. And the only thing that I have to worry about is rent. We have a good stash of money just in case. You know, anything does happen. Let's say I do become unemployed within the next couple of months. Hopefully it doesn't happen. But if it does happen, we have a really good cushion to for me to go ahead and find another job. And I feel in that sense, we are very secure. We're doing very well. But there's a trust situation that goes on there. Uh, for the longest time, like in my family, my parents never spoke about money. It was something that was like very taboo. Both my parents are Mexican and in Mexican families, especially in Mexican families, a lot of people just don't talk about money. And it was something that I learned to discuss with my wife very early on. So we've never had any problems of who's gonna buy what, who, what, how much amount of money do we have? Uh, do we need this? Do we need that? You know, we kind of, there's a couple of things where we spare no expense on, and that is food. We kind of spare no expense. We're smart about it, but we spare no expense on it. Rent is another thing that we, we say, we always allocate money for those things. And then if we have enough for food, rent, the very basics, and all the utilities, uh, electrical, you know, phone, car, all the other basics are paid off then whatever's left over we make sure that we save a little bit of it and we keep the rest so money is very important i know it, a lot of people say you know money doesn't bring you happiness no but it does bring some level of security trust me it, i was i used to work at retail stores for a very long time i used to gig around since i was a musician i still am but i I'm kind of slowly retiring. This is what I'm starting to notice. Uh, I, I can't do the 10 o'clock to three in the morning gigs anymore, you know? So I'm veering a little, way, a little bit away from them. However, I really think money is important, but most importantly, I think in, to be able to have that money conversation, I think there has to be a level of comfort between you and your spouse. And once you guys get that down, I think money becomes a thing that I wouldn't say it's whatever, but it's a thing that is just there. It is a tool that you guys can go ahead and use in conjunction. And once you guys know how to use it together, it doesn't become a, a problem anymore, you know? One good example is uh, if you guys see this, now I have a light. I can't actually physically show you, but now I have a good YouTube studio light. I have two other lights in the back. So hence why now I have my little bit of my YouTube set up ready to go. I was able to spend on these things and I did it during Black Friday. Once again, I'm, I plan my things a lot. I've learned to appreciate money because when I was doing my gigs, when I was working at other jobs, money was very hard to come by for me. And now I'm in a spot where I make a decent amount of money. And now that I have a decent amount of money, I don't have to worry about it so much, but I've realized that if I don't take care of money, I can just as easily spend it that quick. So I am very meticulous with all the stuff that I buy. So in Black Friday, I bought this lamp. I bought those two lights in the back. 
and I made sure to get the best deals possible, you know? I didn't go out and spend massive amounts of money and stuff like that. I was very smart about it and I ended up saving, I think in total, I think it was like $300. That's a big amount of money. I know a lot of people go and spend that in the club in one night or whatever. I just don't do that. That's food for me and my wife and my daughter for the next four or five weeks at least. At least, you know, it's it's 300 bucks. You can do a lot with 300 bucks, especially right now. Again, if you're, if you're really meticulous about your money and really take care of it, 300 bucks can take you a very long way. Something that we do to make our money last even more right now that things are a little bit dire and that <laughs> things are getting super expensive in the country. What we do is we go sales hunting throughout the stores. There's a couple of stores that we hit on the weekly basis. So I hit Costco, but I don't hit all the Costco's. The one Costco that I hit, we have a business center really close by. So what I'll do is I'll buy the New York loin, the entire piece, and I'll split it up into different steaks. That way we can go ahead and eat New York steaks throughout the week. And you might think, well, well, that sounds expensive. It's New York steaks. If you buy it, if you buy the entire loin, it actually ends up costing you about 40 bucks for like 10 pounds. So the pound ends up being like $4 and 50 cents. So 45 bucks for 10 pounds, you know, it, it's, it's awesome. It's really good meat, you know? It's Costco meat still. So at Costco, I go ahead and buy those bigger cuts and I stash them up, I cut them up into individual pieces and all you have to do is just cut it up, put it in Ziploc bags, you're good to go, you know? And then what I also do is I go to Whole Foods. When I go to Whole Foods, what I like to do as well is since I am an Amazon Prime member, I like to do shopping that only the stuff that's on sale, especially in the meat area. So as you guys know, I primarily eat meat. So I mainly focus when I go to Costco and when I go to Whole Foods, I focus on the meat section. If you go towards the back into the meat section, not the like the fridge section, but like actually like where the people are actually cutting up the meat for you. Usually they have sales every week and they switch them up every Wednesday. So I go in there and I check out what they have. A good thing that I usually buy there is they have a 90%, 10% lean meat. That is very good. And they tend to have it for like four bucks and 30 cents a pound. That's awesome. I go ahead and I buy, I don't know, eight, 10 pounds, stash them up. We're good to go, you know, and it's grass fed, grass finished. So it, that's just a local thing where I live and th that's an awesome deal. But when I do find those deals, I take advantage of them. And that's what makes my dollar go even further. I also go to another local store called Sprouts, Pancho Villa and Northgate Market. Again, I, I shop around these and I know a lot of people say, well, that's time consuming. Yeah, well, if you dedicate an hour of your time, let's say you're you're getting paid at work about thirty dollars, uh, thirty an hour. That's you're still saving that with all these little savings. They start to really add up, especially right now. Everything's super expensive. You really see that reward when you actually spend the time to go and shop in all these different places, especially if you just pick a date, you know, that really helps out. So once again, I'm very happy to have a good job that pays well. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm, I'm really thankful more than anything that I'm able to have that amount of money to feed my family, to pay my rent, to have my car paid, my insurance, my internet, to be able to buy the stuff, to be able to bring these videos to you guys, to be able to have the money to pay the insurance for my daughter. That way she can go visit the doctor regularly and you know, in case anything does happen, have a little bit of extra cash to be able to handle those situations. Hopefully this Christmas you guys are having a decent amount of money to go ahead and, and live your life in a comfortable way and you and your loved ones hopefully have enough to be able to feed yourselves properly and have a very Merry Christmas. So once again, guys, thanks for joining me in another episode of Safe Experience. Hope you guys are all doing well and stay safe out there. Peace.